Aaron Walker here, View from the Top. Hope you're having a great day. You will never catch me giving 100% to anything. Now let me explain why, just a little bit more about that. About three weeks ago, I hired a personal trainer to help me kind of get back into shape. Now bear in mind, I'm 55 years old. I'm not a young whippersnapper. I haven't worked out in about five years. And so I went to him and he put me on legs and he started doing all these exercises. And immediately I said, Hey, man, you think you ought to calm down just a little bit? This is, uh, this is pretty tough. And he said, no, you're going to be okay. Just keep doing what I'm telling you. An hour later, he had to help me walk down the stairs to get to my car. And I kind of laughed and said, this is funny, until the next day when I couldn't walk. And so I couldn't get out of the stairs. You know, I couldn't go up and down. And it's raining here. I hope you can hear. I'm underneath a cabana at my house. But anyway, let me get back to my story. Went back the following Thursday, and we did the same thing again. He's got me jumping up and down this box, jumping rope, doing all these exercises. And I said, we need to calm down just a little bit. I'm not training for the Olympics. I mean, I'm trying to just get into shape. He continued to push me to 100%, maybe even more than 100%. And so finally yesterday, I quit. <laughs> I said, I'm done with this. This is killing me. I can't physically do this kind of exercise. He had been much better to start me out slowly, gradually building me up. So another quick story. Podcast host called me, and he said, Avery, I want to talk to you. He said, I, I'm not getting any traction in my business, and I don't know why. He started telling me some of the things that he's doing, and I said, how long have you been doing that? And he said, about three weeks. And I said, well, okay, what about this other activity? He said, well, I've been doing it now for about two months, and it's not getting any results. And I said, well, first of all, you're going out of the gate very strong. You're doing it at 100%, and you'll flame out. I mean, a car can't go 100% long term. It can only run at, you know, that speed for so long. It's the same way with us in business. Every business I've ever owned, we've done things very methodically, very consistent. And I want to encourage you to stop giving 100% for short burst. You know, be a marathon runner, not a sprint runner. If you want to gain great consistency, do it with consistency. Each and every day, do a little bit. I've done about 200, 250 podcast interviews now. And I started out doing those. I wasn't gaining any traction whatsoever. I wasn't making any headway whatsoever. And people say, why don't you quit doing it? I said, because there'll be a day of great harvest. It will come, I promise you. And it is. Now we're having people call us to do interviews. Not because I'm that good. It's because I'm that consistent. And I know you can do the same thing each and every day if you want to. Stop giving 100% for short burst. Do it consistently each and every day. And the gains will be immeasurable long term. It is exhausting to give something 100% for short burst. You'll get noticed if you will do it each and every day. It's like going to these conferences. We go to podcast movement. We go to social media marketing world. And does it pay off every time? No, not every time. But year after year, those people see me there, and I become kind of part of the foundation. They know they can count on me. They know I'm there. They know I'm consistent. Same way in your podcasting, same way in your blogs. Whatever you're doing if you will slow down just a little bit, get a plan, do it methodical, and do it each and every day, I promise you the benefits will be long-term, uh, it, it will pay off. And I just wanted to tell you guys that this morning. They've been talking a lot in our mastermind groups this week about how do you know when you've given 100%. You know, you can always do just a little bit more. It's kind of like one degree of an airplane. When you get in, if it's off one degree and you fly 3,000 miles, you may end up in Canada instead of New York City. It's the same way in reverse. You can change something one degree, and over a long period of time, it'll make huge benefits in your success. Well, I'm Aaron Walker, president and founder of View from the Top, and hope you have a good day, and I'll catch you a little bit later. We'll see you all.